You know, it's really refreshing to have a game. Hey, hey, what's going on? What on earth is that? It's alive. <gasps> no, it's gone. I'm about to absolutely blast this thing. Hello everybody, Mr. Sticksman here, and welcome back to Power Wash Simulator. Today we're going to carry on with career mode, and we're going to be cleaning somebody's garden. Now, we've already completed one of the missions here, which is clean the van. You can see that in a separate video that I've just done recently if you want to. But yeah, today we're going to do this one, the second video in this series. So let's click on this and see what we've got to do today. Hey Doc, I hope you like a challenge, because I'm pretty sure I've got the dirtiest backyard you've ever seen. Oh, here we go. That's not me bragging, by the way. I had nothing to do with it. I've just moved back to town for a bit to help my folks, who are both down to their last knee, and rented what I thought was a great little place. Should have questioned why there weren't many garden picks in the ad. They must have bred rhinos here or something. Anyway, my girls are itching to get out there, and I don't want them to still be itching when they get back inside. So please do your thing. Thanks a lot, Cal. All right, guys, so this is the mission. We're cleaning this backyard here. Let's go. Oh, controls again. I think I remember those. Wait a minute. I can hear traffic. That's cool. Oh, look, there's a road back here as well. That's nice. So it's a little uh, residential area. There's the van. Look, we can see the van out there. You know when dogs, like, jump up and down to see who's over the fence? I feel like that right now. I just feel like I'm a dog <laughs> jumping up and down. Anyway, not a massive area, but, you know, quite substantial here. What is this? What on earth is that? <laughs> I think it's uh, maybe a pond or something. I don't know what that is. Now here's the stool, which is the only thing which is clean in the entire garden, apart from the grass. The grass actually looks pretty good, doesn't it? So let's start off then by washing this doghouse here. Oh, look at that. That's doing a great job so far. Right, Calvin Miller has contacted us. Funnily enough, my first girlfriend, Florian Perez, uh, used to live here back in the day. Those were good times. Okay, that's not a very interesting message. Let's carry on. <laughs> that's a very, very dull message indeed. Why do I get the feeling that every text from Calvin is now going to be incredibly dull? <laughs> We're going to find out soon enough, I think. And that is a good job so far, isn't it? I think we'll try a wider nozzle, actually. So what is that, number three? No, is it number two? Let's try, let's try 40 and really close up and see what happens. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll stick with 40 for the moment. So the door of that is done. Actually, it is a bit tricky to get that off. Is that dirt? What is that? Can't seem to get that off. Right, let's try going for... Uh, let's do 15 again. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so even close up, that wide angle was definitely nowhere near powerful enough. That's okay. We've got the job done now. Right, that's pretty good. Now, we can't forget this dog bowl here, can we? That's really crucial, right? We've got to get that done. Yeah, completely done. It's got a bone on it. Okay, now when we've done this side, I think the whole thing should be complete, hopefully. Sorted. Actually, we haven't quite finished this bit. I think it's just there. Ah, I've done it. Good. Yeah, fantastic. Right, that's all done. Wait, is it? Okay, details. So all of the doghouse stuff seems to be complete. Yes. All right, then. Let's move on to the patio now. So we'll choose a wider angle. And by the way, at the end of this, uh, this sort of mission here, I might try to buy some better equipment. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to afford it yet, but we'll have a look in the shop and see what we can buy because that'd be quite fun to do, but I'll do it later on. Uh, so let's try, let's try 40 and just see if that works. Oh, it does actually. That's very good, isn't it? Actually, yeah, I think that's working really well. It's such a big area. We don't want to mess about too much, do we, with uh, the smaller angles. Right, let's try walking and spraying at the same time. Oh, very good. Oh, even the even the fence here needs to be cleaned, actually. That. Oh, it's so good. Yes. I think what I'll do is I'll do this, and then any patches, I'll sort of clean them up at the end. Um, that's probably the best way to do it.
All right, well, do you know what? I think I'm going to have to actually reduce the angle on that nozzle again, just because it's not quite powerful enough to get everything. Look, we've got a few bits and pieces here which haven't been done completely. So I'm going to go down a bit and just see if this is a bit better. All right, very good. So now we've done the post here and we've done, I think we've done this post as well, haven't we? Oh, there we go. That's done as well. Let's do another line here. Ah, new job, Joe Average. <laughs> All right. What's up? Do you like bikes? Yes, I do. I could do with someone running their uh, running their thing over. Okay, that didn't sound too. Uh... <laughs> Hang on a minute. Let me just go and catch up with that message. Well, I think that message is going to be something to do with the next mission. So what we'll have to do is finish this before we actually see that. But it sounds like we're going to be washing some bikes later on. But also, I think Calvin has contacted us again. And so let's just see what they've got to say. I've got no idea how we explained the fish being there. Wait, what? There's a cat up there. <gasps> it's alive! <gasps> no, it's gone! Oh, come back. I want that cat to be here. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Where's it gone? Is it, is it there? Oh, it's disappeared now. So I think before we continue with the patio here, let's do the table and chairs and also this piece of fence as well. That dog's still barking, isn't it? You reckon that's me that set it off, or is it the cat? <laughs> Alright, that fence is done now, apart from this bit, of course. I wonder if the cat's ever going to come back. It might do. <laughs> we'll have to watch out for it. Right, let's get on with this then. That chair is done. Now we are going to need the footstool actually for the top of the umbrella because that needs doing as well. So we just chuck that down there. There we go. You know, it's really refreshing to have a game. Hey, hey, what's going on? <laughs> I think I'm falling off the, the, uh, the, the stool here, whatever it's called. What is that called? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> we just fell off it. Yeah, it's quite, uh, it's quite nice to actually have a game where you're not rushing to do stuff all the time. Anyway, that umbrella is done now, so let's carry on here. The patio underneath this is really bad as well, so let's give that a quick spray. And hopefully, uh, we can move on after this. Oh, I forgot the table. We've got to do the table under here as well, look. Right, we just put that out of the way. Now, we're going to go along here. We've actually nearly done the patio. So let's now do this fencing section along here.
I just realized you can actually go prone, <laughs> which is incredible. I mean, some first person shooters don't even have that. Yet in Power Wash Simulator, you can look, there's three stages. There's standing, uh, kneeling, I assume, and then just prone as well. That's amazing, isn't it? What a great, uh, what a great feature there. That's really gonna help us as well. So the trellis is now done on this side, but I'm assuming the other side has to be done as well. And that's why we still have like half of it still to do. Um, so we'll get on with that in a minute, but let's just carry on with the patio here. Hey dog, bumped into the park ward and he definitely needs your help. Ah, okay, so that's another mission which may have turned up already, or it will quite soon. But it looks like we're going to have to be washing a park at some point as well, which is fantastic. All right, the patio is now 100% done. Uh, well, not these sections, of course, but the actual main patio area is done. Look at that. That is very, very good now. Very nice and clean. So next, I suppose we can do this section, right? I'm just dying to do this because <laughs> it is. it looks terrible. We're actually going to need a much more powerful nozzle for this part. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll go over it with a wider one first, and then I'll go back over it with a zero degree nozzle as well. And we've done it. So actually it completed before we managed to... Actually, oh, hang on a minute. No, we've got more here. Okay, so we do actually have to use a narrow nozzle for these bits. The steps are now done as well. Is this the Dirt Finder General? <laughs> Another nickname I've been given apparently. Got your details from a certain harbour shore uh, as there is an... Uh, I'm missing all these messages now. Saw my dream RV at the auctions all creamy like a toffee pie. Okay, this is the same text that Harper sent us in the last episode and it got a bit strange very quickly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to see the rest of that other message later on because of course we have to go back to the, uh, the career mode menu I believe to actually see that. Um, but yeah, we'll just carry on with this for now. We will see those in the future. Alright, I think the pond is done now, actually. I, I reckon that's complete. So let's do the fencing now. I believe we've done everything up here, right? Oh yeah, we haven't done the, uh, the fence here or the pathway either. But we'll do this first.
If anyone knows what this option called Dirt Details does, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, the wall is done and the trellis is done as well. I reckon I'm just going to do this bit of brick um, around the edge of the grass here and then we'll go back up to the top and finish that whole area off. Lovely, that's done. Now we do have a fence and a pathway to do and then I believe this whole place up here will be complete. I think the house is alright, isn't it? Yeah, the house doesn't need a clean, so that's okay. Lawn edging is done. Oh wow, the stones are individual as well, so you get paid for each stone that you wash. That is easy money. Okay, well this whole upper section is complete now, so let's go down here. This one is taking ages, isn't it? But that's okay, I quite like it. I like these uh, these big missions to do, that's brilliant. There is a birdhouse here now, so let's just do that. Hopefully there's no birds in there, because I'm about to absolutely... <laughs> I'm about to absolutely blast this thing. Apparently I haven't finished the retaining wall yet. Bit there, look. There's more to do somewhere. I bet it's under here, right? On the underside. There we go. It's almost done. Yeah! Excellent. Four dollars for that. Right. Let's carry on. Okay, we're not far off being complete now, so we've got to do this toy car here. The bench, or what is that called? Okay, a swing sofa, a lawn mower, and a shed as well. Let's do this lawn mower.
All right, the mower is done. Let's do the toy car now. Definitely not a mini. <laughs> Alright, the toy car is now 100% cleaned. We only have a swing bench and a shed left to do. And I believe that'll be the whole thing. But I, I think I might have missed a fence post at the top somewhere. So I'm going to go back and do that in a second as well. I just realised you can actually uh, change the nozzle, right, the nozzle angle with the mouse wheel, <laughs> which is so much easier. Oh, I know what we've got to do. We have to go onto the uh, the stool and get the very top of the roof. Where is the stool, actually? Is it down here somewhere? Oh, no, it's... Uh... Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, this, this piece of fencing here I apparently haven't done. So, oh, there we go. We've done that one and this one as well. Oh, yes, we've done it. We've done it. Lovely. Very, very good. Okay, let's take this downstairs. I just love that sound effect of the water hitting the tiles. That is amazing. Very good attention to detail, but it's actually really satisfying at the same time. Right, let's go around this side and finish it off. All right, as you can see, we've done most of this now, but we've got a bit left to do. So let's carry on here. We're nearly at the end. And I suppose the main thing is really this shed, but there's a few extra bits we've probably missed as well. So we'll do this and then we'll try and go back to those as well before the end.
these windows are so dirty. Look at that. You couldn't even see through them before, but uh, we've almost done this one now. And we've done it. Now let's have a look at what we still need to complete. Okay, so the lawn endings are actually only 60% done. Really? Oh, I reckon that's over here, actually. Yes, look at that. We've still got these to do. And also, the edge of the steps here, or this stone wall, anyway. Uh, yeah, that, that definitely needs to be done as well. We've got a to-do list now, so lawn edgings times two, fence post and fence top. And that's all we have left. So lawn edgings, now that's these things of course, isn't it? So let's just have a look around here. Ah, it's this one here, right? We've got just this one to do now. Lovely, that's done. But apparently we still have more of that somewhere. Here we go, here we go. There's something along this section. No idea where it is. Like maybe it's on the inside near the grass, is it? Oh yes, there we go. We are actually making some progress there. And it's done. Excellent. So now a fence post, which, well, it must be one of these. That's a trellis though, is it? That is still called a fence post though. It's over here somewhere. It's this one. So is it this side or the other side? We'll find out. Right, okay. It must be down here then. That's it. Okay, and one more thing, guys, and the whole garden is done. It's the fence top. Oh, that's probably the same area, isn't it? Can we stand on these chairs? Uh... Yes, we can. Can we? Get, I wonder if we can jump over the fence. I'm going to try that in a minute. Let's try it now before we finish. Oh, no. Oh, we can. But I don't think you can actually get over it into the next garden. No, that's a shame. <laughs> be quite fun if you could do that. Now, these here are the fence tops. Oh, it's this one. Right, so that must be the last bit. Yeah, done the whole thing. All right. New job available. Extra cleaning liquid as well. Here is my progress. It's probably a bit all over the place, isn't it? <laughs> all complete. 100%. $400. Five-star rating. So now we can actually try to buy some upgrades and better equipment. I'm not sure if we can do that yet, but I will go and have a look in a second. So we now have uh, $550 in total. I don't know if um, having these stars actually means anything other than completion, but we'll find out eventually, I suppose. Um, but yeah, now let's go, if we click continue here. Ah, so now we've got three new missions to do. The bungalow, the playground, uh, and the dirt bike as well. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comments down below which one I should do in the next episode. In fact, that one looks quite small. So I'm not sure how long that will take. Probably not very long. It's only $75. But let me know what I should do in the next episode. Now let's see if we can actually go and buy some upgrades. So actually, how do we do that? <laughs> Isn't there a store somewhere? I reckon it's in here. Yes, okay, so shop. Uh, special? Oh, that's a special mission, isn't it? Okay. Lovely. Now, power washers, uh, equipment, or cleaning liquids as well. Now, we might actually need some of these cleaning liquids. I don't know if they're always essential, but they're probably at least speed up the process, right? But we can now buy anything we like here. 
We've basically got a uh, glass, metal, plastic, wood, multi-purpose, and stone. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll probably buy like one of each for now. Five is okay, it's limited stock as well. Before we buy any of that, let's have a look at the actual equipment to see if we can upgrade any of that first. Now, a lot of these are very, very expensive. Um, but not all of them. Some of them are quite cheap, actually. I don't know how much of this is actually essential for, like, right now, but we are going to need one of these things if we're going to be using soap quite soon. And there are different ones. So are they different sizes or something? Some of them might actually take more fluid. There's more. Like, there's one here for $600, which is a bit excessive for right now. That's used for cleaning large areas. Uh, so is this one. But I'm guessing it has maybe a smaller tank or something. It's actually a nozzle as well though, isn't it? So maybe the nozzle is um, a, a different type compared to the other one. But anyway, I reckon we should actually buy this right now because it's only 75 compared to uh, 600. And there's only two of them. Oh no, wait, what's this one? Okay, that one we could afford. But it's for rapidly, yeah, that's quite pricey as well. Let's just get one of these and see how they work. Because, you know, there's plenty of opportunity to buy the more expensive ones in the future. So we got that. I don't know if we're going to need these just yet. Let's have a look at the actual power wash things as well. So we own this one, which is a light duty power washer. And you can't even do stubborn, uh, ingrained or oily stuff at all. Like, it just won't do that at all. Or, or at least it looks like it's on zero there. So let's go to medium juicy. Whoa, okay, $900. Uh, yeah, we definitely can't afford any of these right now. So what I'm going to do is actually buy one of each of these. And then you guys can let me know in the comments section if you think I should buy any more additions or upgrades like, you know, new nozzles and stuff before we actually start the next episode or should I save up for one of the better power washers first let me know in the comments down below guys and we'll see what we can do in the next episode but it'll probably be one of these sort of reasonably priced things at least to start with and then uh, we can work our way up towards more expensive stuff in the future these jobs are now giving us over five hundred dollars some of these anyway guys yeah we'll do one of these in the next episode let me know about the upgrades down below that's it for this episode thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe subscribe if you've enjoyed the video and let me know if you're enjoying these videos and you want me to do more of them in the future but I certainly am enjoying this game a lot all right guys take care thank you very much and I'll see you very soon bye for now